all right welcome to this tutorial uh, <clears throat> in this tutorial i'm going to talk about um, cryogenic separation of uh, hydrogen from a gas feed so imagine you have a gas feed out of a refinery for example that contains uh, hydrogen and some other light uh, hydrocarbons such as methane or ethane uh, it's basically gas right it contains uh, light components and you would like to extract the hydrogen from these hydrocarbons because you know nowadays hydrogen is a very important substance it's a very important component you can use it as a source of energy you can um, uh, use it to generate electricity electricity for example uh, therefore it's really important to extract hydrogen from those flare gas for example let's uh, take a look at the problem definition here you have a gas feed at the pressure of 35 bar uh, with the rate of let's say uh, 6000 kilogram per uh, hour at the temperature of 20 degrees and um, here you have a cooler which actually extract the heat from the system and cool uh, the whole hydrocarbon components down so that the light components uh, become condensate and the hydrogen evaporates from the top of the separator and what we want to achieve is that 99% of the molar flow of methane in the inlet uh, separate as a condensate through the separator uh, at the bottom and the rest evaporates to the top together with the hydrogen so we want to know how much uh, heat we have to extract from the system and what would be the the purity of the hydrogen at the end so let's get back to aspen Hysis very quickly so i've just opened a new one uh, first thing first you have to specify the component list um, let's add some methane and perhaps some ethane some c6 and of course i need hydrogen right the second step to uh, the second step is to define the fluid package for this problem i'll just uh, uh, pick peng robinson <clears throat> and then we are good to go for simulation so the first thing we need to add the cooler and a separator which is a two-phase separator and then you can uh, double click on the cooler the inlet you can call it gas feed and you can call this cooler the energy you can simply call it energy the outlet is two sub because it's actually going to the separator right and then once the feeds uh, i mean the inlet and outlet is defined or renamed you can just close it and do the same for the separator the inlet stream you have already defined is two step the vapor outlet is going to be hydrogen and the liquid outlet is the condensates right so i'll just call it condensate this one is also defined and now you can close it and then you can go back to gas feed and specify the properties so the temperature from the problem definition was 20 degrees uh, the pressure was 35 bar and the mass flow was 6000 kilogram per hour and for the composition i think uh, i will go with for example 48 uh, 48 percent of methane i would like to have 40 percent hydrogen uh, perhaps 10% ethane and maybe a little bit of C6 as well okay the total is 100% and then you just click OK now you can see that uh, it's already turned out to be green so i'll just put this to zero because we don't want to extract any heat at the moment this is something we are going to optimize and find out so let's just put dt D, dt actually to zero and then you can see that everything is turned out to be green okay so no heat extraction at all 
we have just entered the gas phase through a cooler that is not doing anything basically and then it's going to separate her so the gas feed is 443.3 kilogram mole per hour and you can see that more or less everything is going as gas basically nothing is uh, I mean a very little condensate you have but basically everything is going as gas which is not what we were looking for we wanted to have let's say 99% of the gas uh, methane molar flow to go like a condensate uh, to achieve that goal I am going to use uh, something called the spreadsheet here in Aspen Hysis you can see it here it's called a spreadsheet you just drag and drop it here and once it's there you double click on it you go to a spreadsheet um, then I'm going to define some uh, feeds here. So this is the molar flow of methane in, in gas feed. So this is basically the molar flow of the methane in the gas feed. And then you go to column B and you right click on it and you add uh, a variable here. <clears throat> this is from the gas feed so you have to look for gas feed. And then there is something called master component volume, uh, master component molar flow, right? And for that, we wanted to find out for methane. So you pick methane, you double click on it, and you just select it, and then done. So the same thing for molar flow, methane, this time for the condensate uh, outlet in the separator, okay? same thing you do you add import variables this time you are looking for the condensate so and then the same thing master molar flow of methane okay and uh, this is the fraction of how much of the molar flow of the methane is basically leaving the condensate so this is B1 minus B2 divided by B1. So here you can see that 99.73% of the molar flow of the methane in the inlet is basically leaving uh, the system uh, without, uh, without getting it like condensate. So everything is again like gas. So the goal was to reach this number to 1%. But today, I mean, as of now, without any heat uh, extraction, this is 99%. So in order to achieve the 1% uh, fraction, so we have to use this adjustment tool. So if you remember this adjustment tool from tutorial number three, so you can just drag and drop it again and then double click on it. So the adjusting variable, the variable that we want to adjust is, is amount of heat that the cooler should uh, extract from the system, right? So you select the cooler and uh, DUTY, and then you select it. And the target variable was something that we calculated in a spreadsheet, right? So it was uh, this fraction, it was B3. You select it, and the specific target, target was only 1%. Right, we only want one percent of this methane in the inlet to leave the separator as gas, and we want the rest 99 percent to leave at the bottom of the separator as a condensate. Okay, and then you go to parameters so you can increase the number of iteration to 100, and the S step size you can put one E5 kilojoule kilocalorie per hour. And then hopefully if you click on the start, it works. Now the simulation is done and you have reached the adjusted value of 5.59 E6 kilojoule hour heat has to be extracted from the system. Okay, if you click on that, then you can see at the parameters. So this is the amount of heat that we need to cool down with the delta T of 194 degrees in order to reach this 99% of the methane to leave the system as gas condensate. 
so if you right click on the page on the I mean on this uh, 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 case and select the add workbook table then you look for the composition and then if I just okay now you can see that uh, from the hydrogen uh, outlet in the separator the purity of hydrogen with this uh, system calculation with this heat that is extracted from the system with the 99 percent of the methane molar flow leaving the condensate uh, leaving the separator as condensate you can see that the purity the purity of hydrogen is almost 98 percent so you manage to get uh, 98 percent of the hydrogen molar fraction out of uh, the gas feed through the through the separator so this is quite a high uh, percentage of purity of hydrogen and you have something like one percent is still 1.2 percent methane left as a gas uh, at the top of the separator so i think that was it i hope uh, you do you repeat this tutorial you do the same thing yourself uh, you try to understand and learn it by yourself this is a really interesting uh, a process simulation and i hope you have learned it and you have enjoyed it until next time thank you